Hey everyone, welcome back. I'm actually really, really excited about what we have. Today, I don't have just one box for you. I've got three boxes because we have three examples of spodumene. S-P-O-D-U-M-E-N-E. -E. Spodumene, Alex, can I have an S? We're gonna look at it from rough to cut, so where it comes from the ground to your finger, your necklace, or your wherever you wanna put it. Let's get these two off to the side. What is behind box number one, or in box number one? Is it bachelor number one? No. It is gemstone number one. Let's take this. Oh, nice catch. Thank God I'm a gemologist, not a baseball person. Baseball player. I have a beautiful rust stone. It's kind of heavy. It's cool to the touch. Kind of shiny some places, other places it looks a little dusty. It has a little bit of a sheen to it. What we're talking about today is not what this looks like. We're actually talking about what happens from rough to cut. This is a rough stone, but as you can see, it's been cut right here, and this will make it easier for a lapidary, someone who cuts gemstones, to see where the best material and crystal is. And then we go on to box number two. All right. Next step is the preform. Catch. Second base. Third base. Three little pieces. What is this? Each of these, they have a little flat area right here and a little flat area right here. This would be the table facet right here and you would cut the pavilion. So the table is gonna be the top of the gemstone and what I'm gonna do is give you a sneak peek just to show you what I'm talking about on a real cut stone. So right here, this is the table, and this is the pavilion. And this line right here that I'm running my finger on, that's called the girdle. Cut this part, and then that is how you get to this. This step right here is called preform. We have our rough stone, which you've seen earlier, and this is our final cut. So after you preform these, then you're gonna polish it. Next, we're gonna talk about cleavage. And I really wanna make a joke, but I can't think of anything I'm allowed to say. Let's rip out some jokes. I don't make jokes on command. I have to get a treat for that. Cleavage is where the atoms are kind of weak. So usually they're gonna be stronger. On a cleavage plane, they're gonna be kind of weak and you could easily chop through them or they could crack off. Cleavage in, in this scenario is not a good thing. This is mostly how all gemstones are cut. You're gonna start off with like a rough piece. You're gonna kind of cut it down, see where the best place is to cut. And then you're gonna move into your preform. Basically a preform is getting it from this to this shape. And then you're gonna add the facets. So I talked about how it's kind of cloudy right here. That is not cloudy at all. How do we get from cloudy to clear? A lot of that's gonna be polishing. This is it, final cut. Final polish, final cut, beautiful spodumene. What do you think? I think it's pretty cool. Butterfingers is back. <laughs> all right, so I am looking at the book. The book. And hey everyone, say hi to the book. Oh. I wanna give you guys some more geeky nerdy, awesome information about spodumene. Spodumene, which is a species, you may have heard of hittonite and kunzite. Hittonite and kunzite are both part of this spodumene family. Spodumene is known to be pleochroic. You see maybe two different colors when you move it. Pleochroism happens when a stone is doubly refractive. A single refractive stone, singly refractive stone, is gonna be like a diamond. So that is when one ray of light jumps through this gemstone and comes back out. Doubly refractive is when there's, um, the light will split and it'll kind of make two rays that goes through. Only in a doubly refractive stone do you actually get pleochroism. It's two different rays making different colors. One, two, and three. Let's take a closer look at spodumene. So today we took you from California to New York. Long journey. I hope you learned a lot today. Let me know what you think about this process of gemstone cutting. Put that in the comments right below and don't forget to subscribe. Check out other videos that we have if you want to learn more about the gem and jewelry business. We certainly have quite a few.